Dear Senator Lieberman, dear Mr. Vidal Cuadras, dear friends, greetings to all of you. Let me express my appreciation as well as those of PMOI members in Camp Liberty and our compatriots in Iran to you. We honor the International Human Rights Day by paying respect to all brave men and courageous women in Iran and around the world who sacrificed their lives or have risen up to bring human rights and democratic freedom to oppressed nations. For the people of Iran, this day is a reminder of 120,000 martyrs of PMOI and other victims of execution under religious fascism, including 30,000 prisoners massacred in 1988 and all the political prisoners executed in recent years, as well as those slain in camp Ashraf and Liberty, particularly the 24 freedom fighters who lost their lives last month in a rocket attack at the behest of the clerical regime. Yes, this day is a reminder that our people's human rights are being stoned in Iran. It is a reminder that today the Iranian people do not have the right to live free and have no immunity against arbitrary arrests, torture, and harassment. It reminds us that they are deprived of any comfort or security, that they do not have the right to freely choose what they wear, that the right to freedom of belief, conscience, and religion has been taken away from them, that they are deprived of the right to freely hold social gatherings and the right to a free election in order to establish the representative government they deserve. Therefore, the International Human Rights Day is a reminder that the Iranian nation is entitled as a last resort to rebellion against tyranny and oppression, to overthrow the religious dictatorship rule in Iran, and to replace it with a government based on freedom, democracy, and equality. I sincerely hail my fellow compatriots who have risen up these days outside Evin prison and other government centers to protest the arrests, executions, and stepped up pressure on political prisoners. Yes, we must earn our rights, and we must gain back our hijacked freedoms and human rights with our own struggle and uprising. Unfortunately, based on illegitimate considerations, particularly during the nuclear negotiations and agreement with Tehran's oppressive regime, Western governments turned a blind eye on the flagrant violation of human rights in Iran, including the execution of 2,000 people on the Rouhani. After signing the agreement, they sent large political and commercial delegation to Iran, one after the other, to win a share of Iran's market after sanctions are lifted. We call on Western governments to review their policy that has so far contributed to instability in the region and reinforced the main threat to global peace and security, and to make their 
relations with the Iranian regime dependent on end to executions and torture and freedom of political prisoners. I thank you all.